What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 features of the iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus. First is the 7000 series aluminum housing and Ion X glass screen. Now this phone is a tank in comparison to the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. The aluminum is insanely strong and definitely Bengate proof. And the Ion X glass screen is also a welcome change because it's going to cut down on those superficial scratches. Next is the A9 chip and M9 Motion Co processor. Now this thing is a beast. The A9 chip improves the overall CPU performance by 70% and the GPU performance by up to 90%. Now the M9 Motion Co processor is integrated into the A9 chipset, improving the performance and also offering new features like the always on Hey Siri and also more detailed motion metrics. Now the 6S and 6S Plus also have two gigs of RAM. And it's kind of crazy that Apple didn't even mention this since it's such a massive upgrade. But you can see here in Geekbench that we have two gigs and this is going to make things run much more efficiently, especially in Safari since we won't have to refresh our tabs nearly as often since they can be stored in that extra RAM. Now we also have live photos and live wallpapers, which are kind of cool. They're not insanely cool, but they're pretty cool. They allow you to capture one and a half seconds before and after a photo, allowing you to play those pictures in succession to give a very GIF-like image with audio. So not only can you play these in your Photos app, but they can be used as wallpapers as well. If you put them on your lock screen, you can press down using the 3D touch and they'll actually animate. Now I mentioned this a bit earlier, but the Always On Hey Siri is a great upgrade and I've actually found myself using it now. Of course, with previous devices, you had to plug in your device in order to use Hey Siri, which was really never something that I used because it wasn't convenient. Now, if you take a lot of selfies, you're going to love the 6S and 6S Plus. The upgrade from the 1.2 megapixel front facing camera to the 5 megapixel is a huge jump and you can tell from the very first picture that you take with it. Now the retinal flash also uses the display of your iPhone to provide a nice flash for your selfies to be on lock. Now of course we got an upgrade to our rear camera as well, from an 8 megapixel to a 12 megapixel eyesight camera with 4K recording. Now the images are crisp, the colors are great, and the recording in 4K is definitely a nice touch for some users trying to get the most out of their device. And of course we have 3D Touch. Now 3D Touch is awesome, and it really is. You have to use it for yourself to really appreciate it. Now we have one of the features of 3D Touch which is called Quick Actions that allow you to interact with your apps in a whole new way just by pressing on the app icon on the springboard. This is gonna give you quick actions that you can access without even having to open the app. And next with 3D Touch, we have Switch Back to the previous app. Now if you're a jailbreaker, we've seen this feature before, but now it's stock in the 6S and 6S Plus. Just use 3D Touch to press on the left side of the screen while you're in an app, and you can either swipe all the way over to go to the previous app, or just swipe over halfway to go directly into the app switcher. Now another great feature of 3D Touch is peek and pop, and it works in multiple locations. So let's say for instance you're in mail, you can actually peek into an email just by pressing down, and if you press harder, it's actually going to pop into full screen. Same thing goes for links inside your messages app or even videos in your photos. So there's a lot of different places that this can take effect and it's actually a really useful tool. And Touch ID is crazy fast, a lot faster than previous generations. And it actually makes you either use a different finger that's not on Touch ID or the sleep wake button to wake up your device if you wanna see those notifications on your lock screen. Because otherwise, if you use your Touch ID finger and you hit that home button just to wake up the device, more than likely it's going to instantly launch you into the phone and you're gonna miss all those notifications. Now something you're not hearing a whole lot of people talk about is faster LTE and Wi-Fi. So the 6S and 6S Plus support more LTE bands than any other smartphone and features LTE Advanced which allows up to twice as fast LTE speeds. Not to mention when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can actually get up to twice as fast Wi-Fi speeds as well. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button. Of course, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Alright, until next time. Peace.